What's up everyone and welcome to I Remember This Dream. This is an indie horror game that came out, it actually came out a long time ago back in like 2015 or 2016 or something like that. And I've seen a couple of my favorite gamers here on YouTube play this before, but I myself have never been able to play it until I finally got my very first gaming PC right over here. I got it last week and I'm finally able to play this game. And there's like a million and one games that I can play, but for some reason I've always wanted to play this game for myself. And from what I can tell, this game, it's more of a walking simulator. Um, some people like those kind of games, some people don't, but I myself, I really enjoy those kind of games. And it's, you're, you're walking through the woods, and it's about to get dark, and you're getting chased by something. You don't know exactly what it is and why, but you're getting chased. And so I was like, okay, we definitely got to play that. So, alright guys, let's go ahead and play I Remember This Dream. Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay, so... I guess we're here. Okay. I've already been here. Okay. Which way do we go? I see an opening here, so I guess we'll go this way. I now see the stream every night. Not exactly sure which way to go, but... Oh, and also, it, yeah, it's snowy, if you couldn't tell. And every night has become a real nightmare for me, web from intertwined tree branches stretching out in the dark, endless sky. Okay. There are a few sounds in this world, but there is one that scares me the most, the sound of bells ringing from far away and leading me through the maze of this nightmare. So I just heard a bell, and I believe we're supposed to follow it. And it's supposed to help us get through the woods. Do we have a flashlight? Nope, we don't, but we do have a sprint, so that's good. I think the I think the bell is coming from this way. Don't know exactly why you'd be out here at this time of night, but you know. I hear the bell from down, coming from down here, so let's make our way that way. I try to walk very fast, but at the same time, very carefully stepping on the snow in order not to, to disturb the surrounding silence. Whoa, what happened to the trees? Look like they... Like they've been burnt down or something. Yeah, I hear the bell, so let's keep going. It would seem that in order to make it not so horrible, one should make noise as much as possible. Shout, laugh, and talk with yourself. But the sound of your own voice may drown out other sounds. The sound of a barely heard imminent threat and fear hiding in the tree shadows. Okay. I hear the bell. Listening attentively to the squeaky sound of snow under my feet as I walk, I could barely breathe and only pray not to hear footsteps behind me. Footsteps behind oh, Whoa. You guys see that? Okay, let's... Let's not look at it for too long. Keep going. I hear the bell. I now remember everything. The snow, the forest, the blistering cold. However, I know that once I wake up, this cold world would immediately disappear from my memory. Okay, so we must be in a dream. What was that? The bell's getting louder, so we must be getting closer. Oh, it's a house. We found a house. Okay, we're stuck behind a tree. Let's go. Is it following us? Okay, I don't think it's following us anymore, but the bell sounds like it's coming from inside this house. Yeah, it does. Okay, how do we get in? Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's dark. 
I cannot. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, I think that's what is following us. Where's he going? Oh, he's coming around to the door. But this place is not just a figment of my imagination. I've been here in real life. You've been here before? By yourself? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I hear the bell. Let's go. All right, bye house. Bye scary house. Okay. I've actually been in the... I can't remember everything. Dreams and reality don't intersect. You see only the dream world while dreaming, but it's all different from the real world. I've actually been in the woods. Oh, I hear. I think it got real close to us just then. I've actually been in the woods at this time of night with snow and everything. Only some snatches of my memory in which some pass through boundaries between dream and reality, giving me confidence that the, I'm in a dream. Okay, so we're in a dream. Okay. I'm trying to focus on the bell, but read at the same time and run. I think it's coming from this way. They are a small snatch from my memory from the past. Snatches? Oh, I think it's getting closer. I think it's coming from this way. Wow. I was 12 then and studied in 7th grade. The regional school was located very far from the village where I lived with my parents. It was some hours walk to the school. So you had to walk through the woods at 12 years old to get to school. It's kind of like how our parents would say how they had to get to school every day, like they had to walk over mountains and through the woods and through the blistering cold just to get to school. At least my dad, that's what my dad always told me. Every morning, my mom accompanied me through the woods to the school. She returned every evening to take me back. Alright, I think... I hope we're on the right track, I don't exactly know. Oh! What is this? What is this? Oh, it looks like a graveyard of some sort. Is he following us? I don't see him. The bell... Thought I heard cracking. The bell's coming from here, so... Whoa. As the years passed by, bringing me to and taking me back from school became increasingly difficult for my mom. My dad had to suggest that I stop school, but I insist to walk alone to school. What is happening right now? What is happening? So we're at a graveyard in the middle of nowhere in the woods. Okay, so where to now? I think I heard a bell this way. So let's keep going. What is that in the tree line down there? It's like red, you guys see that? What is that? I don't know what that is. 
Whoa, this one floating. I didn't see that one. It's kind of hard to see because everything's so dark. Is that one thing still following us? I don't... In the summer, my journey to the school didn't take long. Sometimes I even gifted, I was even gifted a lift by those driving to the city. Everything changed as winter approached. Oh my god, we gotta keep moving. Days became shorter and the road was drowned in an impassable layer of snow. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know what those were. In the winter, I was the only pupil always released by teachers in the middle of classes to leave as to get home before it's dark. So they would have to let this person out of school to get home before it got dark. Interesting. Okay, I really hope we're going the right way. Oh. What is that? I hope we're going the right way. I hear the bell. Though the road was long, I was very familiar with it. In, in summer, I often rode on my bicycle with my friends through the woods, but one evening in December, I just lost my way while coming back from school. It's getting closer. I can hear it. Okay. Okay, where's the bell? Where's the bell? It's coming. I think we're on the right track. The bell's getting louder, so I think we're we're doing okay. I don't quite remember how or why this happened and where I turned the wrong way, but I noticed that the treetops that were recently lit with bright red light of the setting sun were already drowned in the heavy gl glooming sky. It's kind of hard to read and run at the same time. Really, really, really hope we're going the right way. Okay, let's go down this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Peering into the darkness in an attempt to see familiar places, I struggled to drive away from myself, frighteningly simply, simple through, though my lodged in mind then, I'll never get out of this place. Whoa. I've never walked so far away from home. This is still following me, so I can stop. Stories by old men were what made me know there used to be a village abandoned by people many years ago, somewhere far away in the forest, and then, and that since the village is completely abandoned. So sorry, y'all. It's hard to read and run at the same time and try to focus. cracking in the woods. So it's a church and the bell's coming from inside the church. Okay, so how do, what do we do? Do we go inside the church? Whoa. We were never forbidden to go there. However, whenever my friends and I went so far from home, we experienced a strange feeling of, of anxiety. At the boundary of an impenetrable thicket, though which the sun could not even pass, we turned around, not saying a word to each other, and hurried, went back. Well, what's happening? What's happening? Is that a headstone moving on its own? What is happening right now? Whoa. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. God, that scared the shit out of me. Is it coming? What was that?
Okay, where to now? It's coming. This is the bell. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. I have no idea what's going on right now. Gotta go, gotta go. I hear it coming up behind us. Not looking around though. We're not turning around. I'm not turning around. Should I? Should I turn around? I don't see it coming. You guys might be able to see it better because it's this is quite dark and it's hard to see. I don't know why you'd be out here without a flashlight or anything. I'll never forget that house, that cemetery, and that church at the forgotten village where I tried to hide from the cre creepy creatures pursuing me. But I don't remember how I managed to survive and get out of that dark forest. Many years have passed since then, but I still don't remember understand why this keeps on appearing in my dreams. I don't know. I don't know. I hope I hear cracking behind me. Is it coming? Yep. There it comes. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm almost at the border between sleep and waking. It was here that I that the fear which I always run away from catches up with me. Everything is repeated again and again in each of these dreams. Okay. Bell's definitely getting louder, so we're getting closer to wherever. Is it coming? I don't see him. But not the pursuing darkness scares me the most. God, the music and the sound design is this. This is 10 out of 10. Top notch. Okay. Really hope we're going the right way. Waking up frightens much more. That brief moment between dream and reality, the moment when nightmares is replaced re by reality, but it's still not forgotten and regained. Unconsciousness, not yet managed to erase the nightmare completely from your memory. Okay. Oh, it's a bridge. An old boat. Is it coming? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Coming. Okay. Whoa. What's happening? Oh, here it comes. What's it doing? What's it doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I close my eyes and the belligerent monster pounces on me. The disgusting, munching sounds as the monster tore the flesh into shreds, starting waking me up. The night forest fades and the pale morning light emerges. Then I'm enveloped in real fear, lying on my bed, afraid to open my eyes. The fear of the future shackles my mind in chains, the future that I don't even have, where adult life is just an illusion. I'm 12 years old, outside the window, heavy December clouds bring blistering cold and the first snow. This is the first winter I'll be going to school alone. Lying in bed, I struggle to squeeze my eyes in a vain attempt to restrain, retain memories of my dream. I'm waking up, but most of, I must not forget this dream. I must not forget. I remember this dream, a game by Nikita B. Wow, was that it? I guess that's it, y'all. Okay, Nikita B, you made an awesome game. That was amazing. I was so on edge, and the just the music, the sound design, 10 out of 10. 
it's a very simple game not much to it and it's very short but i really enjoyed that uh i love that wow 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 all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed me playing this game i'll have the link to this game down in the description so you can go download it and play it for yourself um like i said i just got a new gaming pc my very first gaming pc so expect a lot more gaming content on the channel um, subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you'll know when i post next and yeah wow this was such a good game so i can definitely tell that um you know, when you're dreaming, stuff don't make sense. So that makes sen sense why this game didn't really make sense. You know, like your dreams will just be random and you have no idea what's going on and you're just going along for the ride. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. This was such a good game. All right, guys. Thanks you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.